Hello YouTubes! Welcome to the new workshop. I uh, got a little build for you guys that I did. I usually don't go in reverse. You guys usually know that I put a bunch of materials together and then we build something and I show you the process. So this guy is a little bit different. Um, I was kind of inspired to build this guy by uh, Alan Hops over at Stilt Bee Studios. Um, he had made a little scrap monkey build just using stuff around the shop. So I thought eh, maybe I could do something like that. Make a little garbage build of just stuff I had laying around. So I used a half empty can of Loctite foam I had, and I went ahead and built this guy out of foam. Uh, I did two passes, I built up his nostrils and I built up his eyes the second time around, but he's just all scrap junk I had laying around the shop, and he turned out so cool I thought I'd make a little video on him and show you guys. So this is my garbage gator. He's uh, all Loctite foam, he's got ping pong ball eyes, he's a little bit of uh, uh, contact paper that I cut for his uh, little pupils. And he's all dry brushed in black light paint, UV paint. I went ahead and wired up his ping pong balls and E6000 in And I'll show you guys a little uh, little uh, video montage of uh, the steps I did to build him. He's all toothed up. He's covered in fiberglass resin. And I'm, I'm really pretty happy with him. He turned out pretty cool for being a gator. I like him. And I just want to say thanks to Alan for the inspiration. Uh, Alan's little monkey turned out so cool. I thought, man, I wanted to do a project like that similar. So I went ahead and made a gator, he made a monkey, and this is actually a springboard for another project I want to do later, if I can pull it off. I don't know, it's going to be a little bit ambitious, but I'm going to try it anyways. Worst that happens is it fails and ends up in the trash. So I'm going to kill the lights, I'm going to show you guys him in the dark, because he's all under dark light. And then uh, we'll take a look at him then. I wonder if I get the eyes to light up now. Let's see if his eyes will go. I got yellow LEDs in his bulbs. So I'm going to go ahead and kill the lights, and we're going to look at this guy in the black light. All right, lights are on, black light, lights are off, black lights are on. This is what he looks like. He turned out pretty cool. He's all dry brushed with black light paint, even on the underside. Uh, his teeth even light up a little bit. I've got his eyes off right now, but I'll turn his eyes on. So that's his eyeballs on. But uh, I went ahead and dry brushed him all over. I'm really happy with how he came out. And he's just all a junk gator. So that's him overall. I think I'll stick him outside of my Swamp Witch somewhere, since I use mostly a uh, Swamp Witch haunt theme. But uh, I'm pretty happy with him. So let's uh, kill the lights. I'll do a little montage video and show you what he looked like from beginning to end. And we'll take him outside, and we can see him in his natural environment out in the yard. Okay, so for my gator, I just started with the garbage bag, sprayed down with water. Uh, to make a skin on that uh, Loctite foam, I just hosed it down real good, sprayed out a big blob of it and started pinching it down, then jammed some ping pong balls I had in his eye sockets for the meantime, just so as I had a reference to where his eyes would be. And I could see the bridge of his, uh, or the, uh, the ridges around his eyes weren't really high enough, or either was his nostrils. So I planned on adding some more to that to kind of bring him up a little bit higher. And I just went ahead and pinched the foam into place where I wanted and gave it the gator shape. I went ahead and added to the, his eyebrow ridge and his nostrils to bring him up a little bit higher, uh, just to give that little more depth to him. And then I went ahead and threw some coat of paint on him, uh, a little bit of dry brushing and stuff, just to kind of see a rough idea color-wise what I wanted to do with him. I took some Monstrous Design Studios teeth and poked them into place. I glued them in with some E6000, trimmed back the teeth where I didn't want them sticking out or sticking down too far so he would sit flat on the ground. And I was real happy with the teeth. I, I just love these teeth. I used an old wood burner and carved some little square-like texture on the top of his head uh, just to kind of bring out that more gator pattern. And then you guys know me, I love my writ dye. I went ahead and hosed them down to get some uh, dye down in them cracks and settle in there. I had popped the ping pong balls out so I could do all my paint work on them and stuff. And I was pretty happy with that turned out. So I decided to take them to the shop and coat him completely on top in fiberglass resin. I mixed up a bunch, I just brushed it on to help lock the teeth in place and lock that base color down. And then I stuck him outside in the sun to dry, and he's got a nice hard layer on him, so he should be served, you know, plenty good for all the years later on. I grabbed some more ping pong balls that were clean. I used some UV black light to make pupils. Uh, I checked them under black light to make sure they glowed, and the, and the ping pong balls actually did glow. So I went ahead and took some uh, uh, craft paper, and I made some little pupils for him out of slits. I glued some uh, LEDs in with E6000, popped the eyeballs back in, E6000 glued, e glued these eyeballs in and ran my wires underneath. I used a hot heated up screwdriver to poke holes for the wire patterns. 
And then I just popped the eyeballs back into place and I used some DevCon to glue over them so the paint wouldn't come off if he ended up in the pool or he got wet. And just kind of locked them into place and I was real happy with them. All right, so I got this guy tucked out in the yard. He looks pretty cool, pretty incognito there. I think he'll look great in the yard. I do got his eyeballs on, which you can't really tell because the sun's kind of uh, blocking him out. It's so bright out here today. But yeah, that's my little garbage gator that I made, which is just a bunch of scraps and stuff I had laying around. Uh, the method I use, I'm going to use again later and try and do something more, uh, more aggressive and bigger. So stay tuned for that. But so far, I think it looks pretty cool for just being outside in the grass like that. I think it kind of blends right in. It's like, man, I wish I had a damn swimming pool to throw in. I'd like to see if he, uh, if he floats. But it looks pretty natural out there in the yard, creeping around. So he should fit right in with the Swamp Witch for Halloween. So let me get this bag back on the bench, and I'll say goodbye. Come on, Gator. All right, guys, so this is my garbage gator. I hope it gives you some inspiration to scrounge around your shops or your old uh, craft bins and get a bunch of leftover pieces you got laying around and put it together and, and make something creepy. Well, like I said, this guy is only Loctite foam and some dry brush paints and some rattle cans and stuff you guys saw from the little montage video. Um, but I hope he inspires you to build something. If you guys are going to build your own little uh, garbage gator or your own little creature or monster out of just scraps and garbage, Hey, come to the Trio of Terror Facebook. I'm one third of the Trio of Terror. My brother is uh, Vic Springston on his channel over at Grave Art Creepers and Dave at the Weird Kid Show channel. Um, we kind of banded together and we're doing videos. We're three strong. You guys can feel free to put your own projects and your own builds either on the Cobwebs and Candlesticks Facebook page or Trio of Terror Facebook page. I'll link those both below. And uh, hey, share us what you guys are building. Show us. We want to see what you guys are building. It's getting close to Halloween. There's a little over 100 days left. So. Hey, build something and share with us. We want to see what you guys are doing. So thanks so much for watching. Until I see you guys next time, keep it evil, always. So thanks so much, guys. Hope you enjoy them. I'll give you a closer look. Love that eye.